Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, this hair, oh, this hair. And it's Debsy, and the place to be, it's Debsy. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Bloop, Debsy, it is Monday. It is truly a manic Monday. It absolutely is. So, so today's Man Crush Monday. I wasn't quite sure exactly who to shine the spotlight on today. And then something hit me. Hey, listen. In honor of the World Cup of Soccer, which I will admit, I don't watch soccer, but this guy, I like looking at him. So today we are going to step outside of the box and we're going to shine the spotlight on a superstar from the soccer pitch. Is that what it's called? Because to be honest with you, I don't, I don't watch it. I just really like the looks of this guy, whether it be in a uniform or at a royal wedding. And I'm talking about David Beckham. Oh my Lord, once again, listen, I'm gonna go through some of his, some of his professional highlights. And then we're gonna talk about his charity. We're gonna talk about um, some interesting facts. And then we're gonna get to what I really like and that's looking at him. Oh my gosh. My, my nephew, um, Elijah, he loves soccer. He's a soccer fanatic. He could probably tell me all about soccer. Sorry, I don't know it, but I, like I said, in honor of the World Cup of soccer, uh, I'm going to make it on David Beckham. Plus, he's fine. So, David Beckham, he was born um, May 2nd, 1975 in London, England. Um, and all he ever wanted when he was growing up and, you know, when your, your, your teachers ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? The only thing he ever said was he wanted to be a footballer. His parents were avid and staunch supporters of Manchester United. So they were obviously probably really thrilled when he began his professional club career with Manchester United. Um, I believe he signed with the team in 91, but he made first team um, in 92. He was with them from 90. He was with them from 1994, 1991 to 1994. Then he was loaned out to Preston North End um, from, for the 94, 95 season. So he could get some first team experience, went back to Manchester United, um, from 95 and 96, won the championship maybe once, maybe twice, maybe three times soccer player. I don't know. He did at least win it at least once. Then in 2000, he was transferred. He transferred to Real Madrid. Following a falling out with his manager um, of Manchester United, and that was Alex Ferguson, and it was said that the it, it was it was kind of like a bidding war, I guess, between Barcelona and Madrid. Madrid won out, um, and when he couldn't wear his choice of number because he was number seven with um, Manchester United. He couldn't wear it number seven because it was already taken. So he chose number 23 because of his admiration for Michael Jordan. And they were saying that the reason why there was kind of like a falling out at Real Madrid is because a lot of it was pinned on his marriage to um, Victoria Adams, a.k.a. Posh Spice. Um, he was there. He was with Real Madrid from 2000 to 2007. And then 2007 came a new year, a new team. He signed with the LA Galaxy, a five-year contract on January 11th, 2007. Madrid fought it and actually tried to, tried to, you know, beat um, LA out, but they lost on both. They lost on both counts. Um, and one of the things, and also if I remember correctly, one of the, um, one of the stipulations in his contract was he signed for five years, but if at three years he wanted to get out of it, he could. And also I believe there was a, there was a detail, a stipulation in his contract that said, um, that he would be able to buy um, an MLS team. Um, and that right there was the first time 
anyone from any soccer player had been given that, had been given that option. Um, and he played with the Galaxy from 2007 to 2012. Um, from what I understand, he played on a lot of um, World Cup teams. And um, he was going back and forth between, like, countries to play for different countries. So, uh, by the end of his stay at L.A., they were kind of, like, they were kind of, like, over it. Some of the fans were saying, like, we want a full-time player, not somebody who's just going to, you know, be on loan to every country to help them. So, um, a storied career, all totaled, he was actually, he was inducted into the English Football Hall of Fame in 2008. He is the first English footballer to win league titles in four countries. That was with um, England, Spain, uh, the U.S., and France. Um, some of his, some of his charity work, he has worked extensively with UNICEF. Um, he is a, he was a goodwill, goodwill ambassador. And in 2015, he launched seven, the David Beckham UNICEF Fund to Protect Children in Danger. Um, he, he has worked with the Elton John's Aid Foundation. And Elton John is actually the godfather to, I believe, at least one, if not two of his kids, along with, um, along with Elizabeth Hurley. He has worked with Help for Heroes, which helps injures, which helps, I'm thinking about him and I'm like, ooh, which helps soldiers injured in Iraq and Afghan wars. He um, helped found Malaria No More. And he also, I thought this was cool, he designed a Paddington statue, like of Paddington the Bear. Um, and several different celebrities had done this. And they auctioned them off and proceeds went to the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. Some interesting facts. A lot of us had taken, a lot of people across the globe had taken up new interest during the pandemic lockdown. Well, he did too. Um, he took up beekeeping or bee, um, bee tending. Um, he, like I said, he was inducted into the English Football Hall of Fame in 2008. Um, his wife, Victoria, Victoria Beckham, we know she was born Victoria Adams. She was um, AKA Posh Spice in Spice Girls. So stylish. What a stylish couple. They have three sons, one daughter. Like I said, some of the godparents are Elton John, uh, um, Liz Hurley, and I believe it was Eva Longoria. So there we go. Um, he has 65 tattoos. And one of the tattoos is in Sanskrit. And it's Victoria's name in Sanskrit, but it's actually spelled incorrectly. It's spelled V-I-H-C-T-O-R-I-A. His favorite dish, well, it's something you can find in the East End. They claim it's a delicacy. Um, it's pie and mash with a side of jellied eels. And if he's away and he can't get there, then there were times when he was staying in Paris and he had them actually deliver it to his hotel. I'd like to have that money. Um, Victoria gave him the nickname Golden Balls. Okay. All right. And lastly, he has, he does have OCD and he suffers from the fear of birds, which I learned is ornithophobia. O-R-N-I-T-H-O phobia. Ornithophobia. So that's that's fear of birds. So that is Mr. David Beckham. I'm going to put we all are looking for here, someplace here. Oh, he's so, oh, let me tell you. Seriously, there's two reasons why I watch royal weddings. Number one, I'm fascinated by English royalty. And number two, David Beckham. He's fine. So everybody, if I haven't told you yet today, which I didn't, I love you, your love seen and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity, especially acceptance and kindness out there in the world. And I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Love you.